Saints, you I'm super fly. Now watch me levitate. I, I say watch me levitate. Welcome back to another five video family. I am your boy J L of Eight, and we are about to levitate. If this is your first time browsing through the channel and you ghost watchers out there, go ahead and subscribe. It's free. I know you're looking for some fire sneaker content. Now today we will be going over July sneaker releases and I'm only going to go over what I feel is pretty much important. Let's go ahead and kick it off because on July 3rd we do have the Nike Alpha Fly 3 Blueprint retailing for a whopping $285. Now, earlier in this year, I told you guys I do not believe that the Nike Alpha Fly 3 was going to sell out, flew off the shelf. I was absolutely wrong. If you are an avid runner just like myself, I keep hearing about the Nike Alpha Flies helping individuals run just a little bit faster due to the technology, and I'm hearing it's very comfortable, but man, 285 is expensive. And on the 18th, you do have a different colorway for the Alpha Fly 3, which is the Hyper Pink. Okay, and you do have in 24 of this month, you have the Safari Olympic for a whopping $300. Does anybody see what's going on? And let me tell you what's going on. Sneaker prices are going up and they costing too damn much right now, fam. Let me know in the comment section if you agree. On the 5th, we do have a Luca 3 Great Pink Mint retailing for $130. I think the price point is absolutely right. Now, will this particular silhouette sell out? I don't think so, at least here in the States. But again, this is a easy pass for me. On the 10th, we do have the Air Jordan 1 First In Flight retailing for $180. I do believe that Air Jordan 1's price should be dropping to $160 and Collab should be $180. Let me know how y'all feel about that in the comments section. Now, this is a women's sneaker. So it's only going to go up to a men's size 10 and a half. I do see this particular silhouette selling out between somewhere around a men's 9 to a men's 10 and a half. But this is an easy pass for me. And I'm not a true 10 and a half anyway. I'm an 11. On the 13th, we do have the Air Jordan 3 Dark Driftwood retailing for that $200. Colorway is pretty dope. This does give me not a summertime vibe. It does give me kind of like that fall winter vibe. I do love the silhouette. I think it's dope, but this will be a pass for me as well. Now on the 18th, we do have another, another women's silhouette. And let me tell you, I'm mommy here. Y'all doing y'all thing, fam. Y'all doing y'all thing. And that is the Air Jordan 3 Black Violet. Retail for a whopping $250. Now, I will say this this particular model, this Amami year 250 price tag, I think is worth it. But a lot of people are only talking about the black violet, and on the same day, we do have that Amami year Air Jordan 3 white burgundy. Now, in my opinion, fam, this is not popular opinion, I do like the white burgundy pair better than the black violet pair. But let me say this. We do have another Air Jordan 3 that's dropping and that is a black cement colorway. Nike absolutely messed this up because our mama year could have dropped this silhouette in 2025 or we could have just waited for the Air Jordan 3 black cement to drop in 2025 because now we're getting two Air Jordan 3s with that black colorway. The materials are different, I get it, but it's pretty much virtually the same silhouette if you take away, man, the collab. And think about it, later on this month, we do have something else that's coming out and you'll understand why I'm saying, Nike, are y'all reaching too, too much? Because it's so high, your boy, I got too many ideas in my head. Next up, we do have on the 19th, the Air Jordan 3 Desert Camo. This is retailing for $200 and this is paying homage to the women's WNBA. I wish I could go ahead and cop this size right here. It is a women's exclusive, so it's only going to go to a man's 10 and a half fam. Very, very dope. Only thing about this particular silhouette I will say I do not like is that they did not give us that Jordan symbol embroidered. Okay, so I do feel like that little steel piece that's white is going to fall off the tongue. But again, this is an absolutely dope silhouette. In my opinion, I would have caught this one if it would have came in a size 11. Now, we do have on the 20th, a lot of people are saying, hey, I have mixed feelings about this colorway. 
But y'all love green so much. And the funny thing is, I don't mind green. I'm just tired of green on sneakers. But we do have the Nigel Sylvester Air Jordan 4 RM Fence Green retailing for $150. I do like this colorway. And especially if it has that bike air on the back. Listen, this is a must cop in my opinion. And I do feel like that $150 price tag is absolutely justifiable. Hey fam, I'm going for this bad boy. On the 27th, we do have... An Air Jordan 3 football cleat black cement retailing for $190. So, fam, think about it. This month alone, we're getting two black colorways of an Air Jordan 3. Even though the Amami year is not considered a black cement because of the elephant print has been removed, but it does have that Nike Air on the back, which is dope. But I do feel like, man, y'all could have just held off a little bit and wait till 2025. However you want to do it, it's too much black cement. But don't get me wrong, I'm here to cop them all. Next up, we do have on the 27th, the Air Jordan 3. Well, oh, I'm sorry, we should say the Air Jordan 4 Paris Olympics. Retailing for that whopping fam, 200 bucks. This is a must cop for me in my opinion as well. Now, a lot of people lately have been saying, well, maybe the grays are a little bit off. There's too many grays. Listen, this thing is fire. I don't care what you say white laces gray laces listen green yellow orange laces this shoe is so wearable you can flip it how you want to do it absolutely a must cop in my opinion on the 30th we do have the air jordan 3 wings retailing for a whopping 210 dollars now this is okay for the ladies in my opinion this is definitely not in my opinion for the men it's an easy pass for me but again if you like it cop what you like that's all that matters in my opinion. Now, I will say this, man. On the 30th, we do have a super, super dope silhouette that I will absolutely tell you right now is a must cop. And that is the Nike KD4 Nerf retailing for $150. Yes, Nike is bringing back the Nerf at the end of this month. And that $150 price tag is super, super perfect. So I do feel like this, man. That Nerf back in the day was absolutely an impossible cop. And I'm super happy that Nike has decided to bring back this beautiful silhouette. Once I cop it, we will do an in-depth review, fam. If you enjoyed today's content, like, share, subscribe, hit that post notification bell. Because every time your boy drop a brand new video, I will show to get the latest and greatest. Now you know the model. 